across then to Beijing. Talk to our correspondent who joins us from there, Yenna Lee. Yenna, tell us more then about this message and uh, why Janet Yellen is uh, giving it, can you? Well, for years, the U.S. has been advising the Chinese to focus less on exports and more on their domestic market. So that's nothing particularly new. But now the focus on this issue of overcapacity is really front and center. Why now? Well, it's because China's economic situation is not doing so good and mostly because of what China is now capable of exporting. Let me explain. First, the idea is that China's sluggish growth could create even more overcapacity. So, for example, there are fears that the money that had been pumped into the ailing real estate sector is now being pumped into manufacturing. Added to this, there's low consumption, there's weak investor confidence. So what can businesses here do with all those extra products except dump them abroad? Secondly, for decades, Americans have loved importing cheap Chinese goods. But now with China becoming a leader in high tech goods as well, the situation has inevitably change. They export electric vehicles, solar panels and lithium ion batteries and these are the products that really irk Washington DC. The US and, and they're not alone, the EU as well, argue that much of the rise of China's green industry is thanks to substantial state subsidies and thus amounts to unfair competition. So Janet Yellen is basically here in China to try and convince her counterparts to rein all of this in a little bit or to face the consequences. Yena, why on earth, though, should China actually take any notice of what she says? Well, I'm sure you'll remember those Trump-era uh, tariffs that started this historically uh, icy period in, in Sino-US uh, tensions. Well, they haven't ended, and there could even be more on the horizon. And tariffs certainly aren't good for China's economy. Pro-free trade Janet Yellen is actually uh, relatively a, a friendly face for Beijing uh, officials. And she is coming here, though, with a stern message. Ahead of the trip, she refused to rule out taking more steps to protect US industry. So interpret that as you will. The Biden administration has a clear goal of becoming less dependent on Chinese goods, and this is a bipartisan issue in the U.S. It won't change regardless of whoever wins the U.S. elections. The major difference, though, is, of course, how this relationship will be managed, and perhaps it is in Beijing's best interest to advance as much as it can on this a complicated dossier while they have a more predictable administration in power. However, it's unlikely that China is likely to, to radically change course on this issue at this stage. High-speed growth is simply no longer as important to Chinese leaders as it once was. And nowadays, they prefer high-quality investments, investments in industries that can help defend their ultimate priority, and that is now national security. Yeah, no, thanks so much. Yana Lee joining us live there from Beijing.